In this video, we'll be learning how to add option buttons or you can say as radio buttons on your user form itself. Let us see that. I have already created a user form at the back end. I'll just show you, I'll explain you some things in that. So I'll just go to the developer tab, this place in the same Excel VBA user forms. Go to this visual basic and I've created a user form three. That's a user form three. If I click on this space, I'll just explain you the names which are given here. The caption of this user form is nothing but given as quiz. So I've changed it at this place. If you see here, that's given as quiz. Second is, if you see, I have, how do you travel? That is the label given here. After that, I have given here as the option button one. That is the option button one. How did I do that? I'll just show you this place. I, I have selected this toolbox and I have selected this option and I have drawn this place. And this way I have drawn here as option button one. The second one is option button two option button three and four all these option buttons and you know already how to change the name the height or you want to change the caption or the background color those options are very much same here i have selected the background color from this back color i have changed the font from this place in the font i have selected this and i have changed the font at this place and finally i have created a submit button or this place now what this form is usually all about now you'll be asking from the user which type of travel they do how do you travel usually so either by bus car message or you can say as flight or train so when you click on the submit button when you get user input and when you click on submit button you get a message box let us see what that message box is i'll just click on this run button select this user form click on this run button now how do you travel i'll say as i travel by bus click on this submit button so if you see you have selected bus that is given here again if i click on this car if i click on this submit button you have selected car the last word is changing here if you see if i click on this place you have selected flight and if i select the last one you have selected train so now the options are changing how do i do that with the help of macros so i'll just click on this place remember whenever you click on this submit button only this actions will be taking place now if you want to understand the value of this option button there are only two values one is true and false that's it no other values so if this value is true if i click on this place if this value is true i'll get the answer if this value is true i'll get the answer so if you observe here i have used if condition if else if else condition here so i'll just close this part and then now i'll show you the coding part what is given here i'll double click on this submit button and this is the code which i've written let me explain you the code now if you observe there is if else if condition now everywhere private sub procedure command button one dot click the submit button is command button one i have declared a variable dim answer as string that's a variable defined and this portion from here till here if you see there is only if else if condition user form three the last form dot option one dot value user form three dot option one dot value i will show you where is the value here option one i'll double click on this place if i show you this one is nothing but user form three if i click on this place this is known as option button one okay and their value can be true and false i'll again go back to this code user form three dot option one dot value equal to true if it is true give me the answer as bus and same everything i've copied pasted so else if user form three dot option button two instead of one i've written as two dot value equal to true then answer equal to car so if you observe here user form three user form three everywhere is same option button one two three and four this four values have changed if those four values are true accordingly accordingly answer will change answer bus answer car answer flight answer train so this will be going on suppose the last one if you have not selected anything the answer would be choose the option i'll show you where it is if i click on this place i have not chosen anything if i click on this place you have selected choose the option that means they both have come here that is a mistake again so i'll click on this place answer equal to choose the option and if and the message box will be given as you have selected an answer this is the place which i've got it so this is nothing but if else if condition which i've used inside the code and it's very easy you can just download this code from the attachment below the video you have got it please so i'll just go again back to this place click on this run button and i'll select this bus click on this submit button remember when you have the option buttons you are going to use if else if else condition and then according to this 
input you will be getting the output of the answer itself right so i hope you are able to understand how do we use buttons with the option box or you can say as radio buttons that's all for this video